hi guys I wasn't going to vlog today but I decided why not like I said to myself why not I am going to stop being so perfectionist and just show you guys my life and vlogging my life because life isn't that serious and I think that I'm taking life way too serious lately and just stressing about stupid stuff that I shouldn't be stressing about so just making sure you're right um today's sunday um and i have a lot of things that i want to say that i want to share and things that i want to talk about so today i'm trying to do something different and a what i eat in a day but a little bit different because i want to get out of my comfort zone and i want to do something different and i want to have fun because life is about having fun okay we're gonna do I what I did in a day, but in alphabet alphabetical order. Okay, so for A, avocado, for B, bread, and for C, I went to Starbucks and I got a different drink. Oh my god, I didn't have black coffee. And also the reason why was because last time I got black coffee, I couldn't even finish it because it was way too strong for me. Now that my taste buds have been like growing and like I have been tasting different stuff I'm like oh my god like I want some sweet in my life you know I love black coffee but it was way too big in Colombia we drink something called tinto but it's usually a pretty small black coffee it's not like a grande you know what I mean so that was way too much for me and I just couldn't finish it so today I decided I wanted to challenge myself and I have been wanting to try a different drink for a long time but it's always like the dops in here still like oh my god but how many calories what if they put more syrup what if they what if they add more of this or that well I don't give a shit anymore life isn't that serious okay so for C we're doing coffee a little update I'm not tracking macros anymore I'm just eating intuitively so yeah that's fun and it's actually it's like okay we're gonna talk about this when we're having breakfast because i am hungry so okay coffee is c and this one is a granite cold brew with one pump of hazelnut hazelnut syrup one pump of mocha a splash of half and half and i also added a little package of brown sugar because still like i wanted something sweet so yeah a b c and then for d this is what i got dill pickles i'm gonna put it on my avocado toast and then for e we're gonna do x okay um i'm just setting it all up for tiktok and i actually want to do a lot of stuff today so let's get into that let's do that mind you i have no idea how this is going to taste but i love pickles so i burned them a little bit but again controversial opinion i freaking love the burn part my dad agrees with me okay my dad and i we're both the same person okay so i freaking love catching up with you guys so that's what we're gonna do and you should definitely try the coffee but yeah we're gonna talk a little bit i've been getting very overwhelmed because i don't know what to make more for like content because I love creating content and I love being here in this space. I freaking love it. But at the same time, I get super overwhelmed because I want to create all the time. And I think I have talked about this before. But with also challenging myself and going out to eat more. Guys, I've been eating out like quite often lately. I went to Cava. I think it was Thursday. I tried the pita chips. I tried uh, greens and grain bowl. It was so good guys i loved it but i've been falling in love with eating out again and having fun outside and trying new restaurants and stuff like that but at the same time i worry a lot about money so i'm just like is this even worth doing like i can't be spending money all the time and now that i'm finding food freedom again i want to eat out like every time like every day and i kind of get overwhelmed and i start overthinking like what if 
this is my whole life of just me eating out and stuff like that and I know it's silly and it's just me overthinking a lot but that's what I think I don't know like I when I tell you I literally want to eat out every single day it's because I literally want to eat out every single day for like literally every single meal and before I wouldn't do it because I was too obsessed with tracking macros and just having the perfect macros and I was scared that I didn't know how much oil or how much I stuff will they put on my food and now it's just like I don't track macros like who cares how much they put if it tastes good I'm gonna eat it if I'm hungry I'm gonna eat it and I want to try so many good food and I also don't have many people to go with I want to make so many challenges like I want to do the challenge where you go to the drive-thru and you're like can I have please the what what the the person in front of me got just for fun but at the same time I'm like am I giving it too much thought about the food and should I focus on other stuff but I don't know I'm just finding food freedom again and finding how much better food tastes when you're not into this restrictive obsessive mindset and this is a phase maybe this is I don't know something that I have to go through first I don't know <laughs> So right now I'm just trying to live in the moment and what I'm gonna do actually is that I'm gonna try and see if I can do the podcast to stop today because I have the microphone but I haven't even opened it so we're gonna try to do that today all the mocha is like on the bottom <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it because if when I do like little challenges like that I do them because I think they're fun to watch and also I think it's fun that like I think it helped me in the past to see others doing those different challenges because I was like oh my god they don't even care about like tracking their macros and stuff like that and that really helps me so that's why I wanted to do that but then sometimes I get comments like oh my god you're so obsessed about food everything that you do is about food and I'm like food is good so I don't know should I just stay quiet and I don't know I don't know but um, I have been feeling so much freedom lately. And like people are like, oh my God, but you're so obsessed about food, everything, you, like all your content is about food and everything. Well, yes, I was in such a restrictive mindset for like so many years and now finding food again and finding food freedom again and finding new foods is, is exciting, man. I get excited, so I don't know what to tell you. Yes, I get excited about eating out. I get excited about trying new things. I get excited about food because it's something that I fought for many years. Like I fought with my body in food for many years and it's exciting and I should be excited and I am allowed to be excited. You guys, this is good. This is actually good. You know what I saw on TikTok? A freaking huge pickle. As a sandwich you know as the bread I will do that I'll eat that I love pickles pickles are are so good pickles are so good you guys this is so boring so I'll see you when I eat next University have so many universities on the earth have so many clever people on this earth but our life is harder and harder we make it hard for who? We work hard for who right now? Here's the thing. Mm, today is Sunday and my mom's car is not working. So my dad is trying to fix it, but I think he's not going to be able to. I think he has tried before. We were supposed to go bike riding this morning and I was so excited. I really wanted to go bike riding. And then my mom talked to someone yesterday to see if they could fix the car and he said that we need to buy a part for the car my dad had to go this morning and it was like an hour and a half away so he had to wake up early and go there so we couldn't go bike riding which sucks but he is so amazing with me and with us with us and with my content and he really believes in me so he's all the time trying to give me ideas for content and he's like I'm available for whenever you want me to go because I don't drive very far I get very anxious so whenever I have to go somewhere like super 
far away, he's the one driving. Let's say for the city, I don't go to the city by myself because it's like an hour away and you have to take like a pretty big highway so I don't go there. But today's Sunday and he's like, where are we going to go? Because he just came home and it's like three o'clock. Where are we gonna go? And I'm like, I'm recording today, but at the same time, like, I want to do the video of, like, alphabetical order, but at the same time, I want to go out. So, like, that's the dilemma in there. I think the deal that I made with myself was that I was going to put my recovery first and then the content, you know what I mean? So... My recovery mentally means also spending time with my family. So I think that if he wants to go out, I am going to go out. It just depends on what he wants. We really need to take some pictures for our work permits in here, the US. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna see what else do I need to do. I was planning on doing the thing with the podcast. I'm learning how to do it so that we can have a podcast together. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hi guys, we're actually going to the cinema later, but we're gonna have dinner before and we're gonna go to a place that I've always wanted to try, so I'm gonna show you. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my face. Hands in the sky, I could feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. This one has been in a split for my parents. <laughs> Here's that. And this is mine. It's strawberry shortcake. actually the next day and I'm getting ready um, because I have a doctor's appointment for my back and also just because I want to get blood work done because um, I don't think the doctor can do anything about my back <sighs> but yeah yesterday I had a pretty nice day with my parents um, and at the end, we went to watch Nope, the movie, the new movie, Nope. It's kind of weird. If you have seen it, please let me know how you like it. It was, it was weird, but definitely like interesting, I will say. So yeah, um, right now I'm just getting ready. I'm actually not going to Starbucks today and I'm gonna make my coffee at home as a responsible adult i actually have the Cham chamberlain chamberlain coffee from emma and i have a bunch of stuff from her maybe i'll show you the package that i got from them i haven't used them so it's my time to shine because i want to save some money my birthday is in a month like literally a month today's august 15 my birthday is september 16 and i really want to travel somewhere like i really 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 want to travel somewhere um hawaii will be a great option but it's a little bit expensive so i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that but if not i was thinking i need to buy more of this i was thinking maybe texas austin texas um because i have a couple of girls that i want to meet in there 
or San Diego, California. So that's what I'm thinking. Or New Jersey. I don't know why New Jersey, um, but it looks cool. I haven't been there. I've been in New York, but not New Jersey. So I want to see it too. I've seen like the shore. It looks kind of cool. So that'll be like another great option for me for my birthday, but I really want to be able to do something. So uh, plus it will be my first year that I'm actually not like worried about gaining weight and stuff like that and just living life. So I think this is going to be like the best day ever, like the best birthday ever since I came to the US. And I really, really hope so. So today's plans are to go there to my doctor's appointment. I won't take you there because I think that's weird. Um, yeah, taking my camera to my doctor is not really, I don't think she will be happy to see that. Um, but I will definitely update you guys. I didn't finish the, sh the challenge. See, I told you, like it's hard to do those challenges when I just want to live life and I didn't know that we were going to go to the cinema and we were going to go out for dinner and um, it was just a last minute decision and I could have just stay home and make my dinner to like match the challenge but that's not the point of this account It's not to make food challenges It's to actually recover and live a beautiful life healthy happy life so that's what i'm going for okay so i got it ready this is the outfit it's like the shorts i love this and also this um you guys know my jay worldly always and yeah now i'm gonna go and make breakfast i'm actually going to show you the package from emma let me show you yes let's go also, don't think that I will show you breakfast just because it would be like super boring. I just have to make something quick for the lighting, okay? Uh, for before going there. I am literally gonna stop caring about you guys. Um, like, caring so much about having like the perfect videos and just blogging my life, you know? So this is the, the room that we have to just put stuff so it's very disorganized but here i have um celsius i have cola and i also have watermelon and i have the coffee from columbia i also need to have it maybe i'll have that one today but i have like this huge like see like it's huge um from emma I need to buy a tripod but I also think that the podcast I will record it here because I don't have a table in my room so that's why but this is what I got from Emma I have this Chamberlain coffee um thinking look at her she's so pretty I need to use it not today because I'm not gonna make cold coffee I'm gonna make hot coffee but I also want to try this um, dark chocolate coffee beans. Looks good. I also have like two of this. I have matcha. Mm, I have coffee from like different flavors. This one is also like instant coffee. Like all of this are like packages for me to make coffee. And I have another one already opened in my room, which is the one that I'm going to use with this one. And I also have decaf coffee. Um, guys, I need to start doing this because why am I spending money on... Well, like, I know why. Because I love going there. You know, it's the traveling part. It's not the coffee itself. Um, and then this one is the decaf. And, yeah, I just have a bunch of those. And finally, I have... Um, this are little cups. Uh, to also do like cold coffee but again I'm not gonna make cold coffee today so I'm not gonna use them this is how they look like and I have four so yeah I'm gonna start using all of that I'm 
But yeah, guys, I just feel so much better than yesterday that I was super anxious. Um, because of that freaking um, TED Talk that I heard. And I am so excited to make like my podcast. <laughs> my mom would scare me. <laughs> I am so excited to make my podcast. I am just very, very excited um, to start recording and everything. Because um, I have many things to say, guys. I have many things to talk about. I freaking love talking to the camera. But some days I don't take it out because it's like super annoying to take this big camera or I want to talk to someone and it would be great to have oh I also I think I have a name for the podcast I think I do I'm pretty sure I have one so very excited about that um but yeah okay I'm gonna go make breakfast and I'll see you guys when I see you whenever I want to update you but yeah I need to go make breakfast and then go to my doctor's appointment see you later